Hi, this is Nir from Polypop Live, and in this video we're gonna talk about global scene. A global scene is a scene that sits above all other scenes, and because of that, Polypop Live will render it on top of our project. When we add a global scene to our project, it doesn't matter which scene is currently active, because whatever is happening in the global scene will be shown above it. Now, this can be a very useful and powerful tool when it comes to alerts and hotkeys and sounds. Because once you play an alert or a sound on your global scene, it will persist in all scenes. So you'll be able to see the alert animation or hear its sound in different scenes. Or even keep seeing them if you switch scenes while the alerts are still playing. So let's see how we add a global scene to our project. As you can see, my project has three scenes in it. Scene number one, which is the scene we're seeing. This is scene number two, when we have all these global scene boxes flying around. And scene three is my camera. To add a global scene, we will click on the plus button here in the scene layout. We will choose the transitions category and we will double click on the global scene. We can see that we now have a global scene layer at the top of our scene layout panel. Because the global scene lives above all the other scenes, this is where Polypop Live will place our scene transitions. So let's quickly add a scene transition by clicking the plus button here in the scene layout. Choose the transition category and let's double click on the metal door stinger transition. And we can see that the transition layer is inside our global scene. So now when we switch between the scenes we can see that the stinger video is playing above them to allow a smooth transition. The transition layer is unique to the global scene but we can add any other 3D or 2D layer to that scene. And the way to do it is by first adding a layer to a regular scene and then drag and drop it to the global scene. So let me show you what it means. I have a rotating 3D crown here that's casting a perfect shadow above my head. And right now this crown is in scene number one. So if I'll switch to scene number two, we will not see it. So let's go back to scene number one. Now I'm gonna select the crown layer and drag and drop it inside the global scene layer. So we can see that under the global scene we have the transition layer and beneath it we have the crown layer. So now when we switch scenes, the crown will appear in both of them. You probably noticed that when the transition video was playing, the crown was hidden. This is because the crown layer is beneath the transition layer. So if I'll drag it above the transition layer, it will be shown even if the transition is playing. Like this. And this is important because if we add an alert or a sound to our global scene, the image or the audio will not cut off. So let's add an alert with sound to see how it works. Again, let's click on the plus button here in the scene layout and add one of the built-in presets alerts. Let's click on the Twitch category and double click on the new follow alert. We now have a new follower alert in our scene that looks like this. So in order to make it work in all scenes, we will select it with our mouse and drag and drop it in the global scene. And that's it. If we go to scene number two, we can see that the alert is working over there as well. And if we will place it above the transition layer, the alert will be rendered above the transition video and we'll be able to see it during the transition, like this. So that's it. We now know what a global scene is and how it works. A global scene is where the transitions of your project will be located, but it's also a place you can add alerts or sounds to that will persist throughout your whole project. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.